matron take them away. Hey guys, hope you're well. Notice that a couple of guys are starting to look at shares. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly show you mine. Um, give us a second. I've just done um, the pound markup for everybody so you know exactly where it's at and what, what it's up to. Um, but with the shares, I just want to show you a quick way of trailing. You know, I've got a new batch running in. Um, I'm still running over forty percent profit since um, December. Yeah, it's not lighting the world on fire, but as you see, it's pennies. You know, tiny wee things. But we moved back into net positive, which I'm pleased about. And these are starting to pick up pace, and they'll move into positive hopefully next week. But if they don't, it doesn't matter. As long as the overall basket stays positive rather than negative then we're in with a chance and that's how all of this works i need a coffee i've got a frog in my throat this morning as we all know scruffy likes it coffee oh that's better um but what i want to show you is this because they're asking how i'm sort of managing the trade well once i've got the entry criteria in place which you know is the river it's always the river and it's a river on the daily i then leave it on a four hour chart which is this particular chart here and i wait for a break of a decent level in other words let the price run away a little bit so as you can see we ended here we had a level of interest at this point and then a level of interest at that point well that was a bit tight for me you know because it wasn't really moving very far so what i did was i waited till the price breached this one and then if i take this off just so i can show you how i did it once that breached i took a little bit of money off um simply to um i want to be paid for my efforts because uh, the, the account took a bit of a punch this week and it needed to to get some money back um, and i'll show you that at the end but once it breached there just get yourself a little drawing tool like so from where you start and then just pull it up to where that four hour candle ended because that was the breach grab your stop and pull it to there now it doesn't sound a lot but you take a sort of i took 10 pence off the profit putting a little bit in so all these little 10 p's that you take off every once in a while might give you sort of a quid or a couple of quid it pays off the interest so your account's not getting eroded but also get your stop which is there because obviously it was down under here and drag it up to halfway so what's the relevance of that it means you're never giving more than half of your profit away now the next time that breaches is going to be here so once that's breached that point get your measuring tool and see where it closed and it might be there and then you'll be able to drag your stop to here and it's a good way of ratcheting the stop each time a level is broken okay and at the moment we're just going to leave it there it just allows the trade to breathe a little bit but it gives you key points to work to now each one of these levels is relevant you know and it's based on high time frame sort of criteria as you can see in that case i put a fib on and i drew it with fibs and put some key fibs on it rather than swing points just to give logical points of attraction off the moves and then it holds you in the trades that little bit longer now behind it is the river on the daily and what will be happening there is if the river catches up to the stop fine we'll just run it run it behind the river as well but we're also going to ratchet it 
a good way to manage what's going on. Now we didn't do anything yesterday. Uh, didn't take any any money out of it. Just uh, run this across. Uh, overall, it's minus sixty four. Um, once you take into account um, overnights, etc. And this month we're down two pounds seventy five from the nineteenth. But if I take it to um kind of when it started which would have been around it was was it monday the fifth six i think it was from about there it started there you go there is the return so the return from there because obviously you've got your adjustments your adjustments are your interest that sort of thing um 44 quid doesn't sound a lot but we started with just over 100 pounds and then it's now worked out the rate of return we've got a 70 percent win rate we're running at 1.37 which means that it is making money this this strategy and there we go we, we kind of almost at one to one on on the profit loss now i don't pay a lot of attention to that um because I don't think it adds that much value. You should be taking each trade on its merit rather than trying to shoehorn um, a risk reward criteria. Oh, I can only do um, one unit, but I have to have three. Well, what if you do one unit and the market only gives you two? So to me, it kind of sets yourself up for a fall. So I keep an eye on it, but I'm not overly interested in it. What I'm interested in is these two that tells me whether or not i'm making money as long as that's above one whatever you're doing regardless of this is making money and then the win rate means i'm reading the market correct and the criteria that i've put into place is correct whereas if you're down to sort of under 50 percent your criteria is not correct it's a numbers game so i hope that makes sense um it was just a, a quick update about the shares and, and how and why I'm doing it. Um, the, well, I'll tell you why I'm doing it. I, I was asked if I would do a small account challenge and build something from nothing. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And that segues into um, an event that I'm part of, believe it or not. And, I, and I'll show you just in, in closing why it is okay traders day live um it's an expo down in london um it, it's an educational expo rather than one of these where it's just a broker meet and the idea is to bring value to the forex world rather than just sell um and face-to-face -face value is where it is now there is limited seats you can sort of save your seat here i will drop a link in the description below and what you're going to do is you're going to learn from the best of the best you know seven figure traders are on that stage and let's have a look see who these seven figures are steve ward simon cothrell very good hedge manager mark you'll know mark um martin i had the pleasure of meeting him the other day uh chris tubby uh, been around forever Anna Paul I'm sure you know these two Michael and Sol and what do you know myself and why was I invited because they want me to show you how to build something from nothing and if we look at the agenda and we come through there it is there I'll be on the stage and I'll be showing you how to build a small account from nothing into something that's substantial as you see me trade on a daily basis that can generate a wage but do it in a way that is consistent and in the background of that my own group the discord which is where this kind of video came from because that's who we're interested in I thought the easiest way to do it is to do it myself in front of you so 
put hundred pound into the broker. It's all live, uh, as you saw, and build it day by day, because that's how trading is done. If you're in it for a flash in the pan and you think you're going to be rich in a week, for the love of God, give up. It doesn't work like that. But if you're prepared to put a year into it and two years into it, within that two years, you will find something that is substantial, just with little bricks. And that's what that, that account's all about. So for those who laugh at it, remember, every business started small. You know, Marks and Spencers was a barra in a marketplace. Sainsbury's was a corner shop. Look at them now, you know. Virgin, one of the biggest companies everybody knows, started at the back of a church selling records. You know, they all have humble beginnings. Every big business has had a stumbling block. Trading is no different. Start small, learn your craft, build up the asset, reinvest the asset, and it becomes something else. Are you going to hit a stumbling block on the way? Most definitely. But what are you going to gain from that stumbling block? Experience. And experience gives you the ability to be successful. Sermon according to Scruff. So just an update. Hope it helps. If you're stuck, very easy found. Find all my contact details below. If you're interested in coming along to Traders Day Alive, um, it's June this year, June 17th. Uh, I'll drop a link below. Um, there's limited availability. So if you do want to come, grab a ticket um, because they are selling out very quick. So as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed, but above all, do what you love and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.